Good evening, Lisa. I was just going to send you this quick message. Um, we are going to get to meet one day. I know it and get to hold hands and pray together. Um, and I just want you to know that I'm continuing to pray for you as you are battling this COVID right now. And um, plus just all the sickness going on in your body. I thank God for Norma and how he's changed her life. And I know he's changing you too. And I just want to encourage you. Um, just keep taking steps in faith. Just keep asking Jesus to show you. Um, he'll change the areas of our life. Um, we just keep asking. Give us new thoughts. And he's already done that. I see that in you. He's given you a desire for him. A desire for his word. Um, a desire for prayer. And um, you just have these, you know, a sweet spirit for Jesus. Um, I know that when we live with unbelievers, when we live with people who are living for the world, um, it can be hard for us it, as we are made new. But I want to assure you that just as you are a newborn baby in Christ, that he's touching your eyes, he's touching your mouth, he's touching your heart, and he's going to finish the work he started. Philippians 1, 6 says, that he is faithful to complete the work that he has begun in us. And I want to encourage you in that. You have been born again. And when the devil tries to tell you that you're that old Lisa, you just tell him, no, I'm not. Uh, get out of here. I'm the, new G I'm the new Lisa in Jesus. And I praise God. You know, the scripture says, outwardly, we're wasting away. Outwardly, our bodies get older every day and they break down. But inwardly, we become new. And our heart is made new. And our heart is what is going to live forever. Our soul is going to live forever with Christ because of the decision we've made to follow Him. And when this body wears out down here, uh, we will, this, this flesh, it will go into the grave. But when the final day comes, when judgment day comes, when Christ comes back for us, He will raise us. He'll resurrect us from the grave. Even if we're ashes, He'll bring our ashes back together. And he will unite us with him. And it says at that time, he will give us a new glorified body. And it will be a body that will not wear out like these. Um, and we, it says he'll wipe away every tear from our eye. And it says he will, um, the body, the new body that he gives us, it will be raised imperishable, which means it can't wear out ever, ever, ever again. No more problems with sickness. No more problems with pain. No more dying. And all of those things are in Christ Jesus. And so I just wanted to share that with you, that we have newness in Christ, Lisa. And I just thank God for you. And I'm praying for you. Lord, guide Lisa tonight, Lord. Remind her of who she is in Christ Jesus, that she has been born again. That you now live in her. Jesus, you paid the price for our sins on the cross. And Lord, because of that, we don't want to go back to our old ways. And so, devil, we are new. And so, Lord, help us to keep learning these new ways. Uh, give us new words to say. Give us new thoughts to think. Your thoughts, Lord. And keep us plugged into your word. We love you and we need you. And I just praise you, God. Continue to heal Lisa's body. But thank you for healing her soul and giving her a new heart. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.